What are data crunch activities? Data crunch activities are a great way to incorporate the analysis of different graphs and documents in your classroom for various different units. Um, my teacher tip video today is going to give you maybe some ideas on how you can incorporate data crunches in your classroom and then where to find them in the NGPF curriculum. My name is Amanda Volz. I'm a personal finance teacher at St. Clair High School in St. Clair, Michigan, and I'm a longtime user of the NGPF curriculum, and I just give some tips on how I have incorporated and used their activities and materials in my classroom to help you if you're a first time user of NGPF or maybe just give you some different ideas to use in the classroom. So under the resources tab on the NGPF website there is data crunches. And if you go to that particular page on the NGPF website, they offer data crunch activities in every unit. So I'm currently in my investing unit right now. So if I go to investing and in that unit, it's gonna list a bunch of different data crunch activities. How stocks, or are stocks a risky long-term investment? How your asset mix impacts your returns? You can see there's a whole bunch of different ones um, that are available to you. One that I have used in my classroom is this one. Why should you invest when you are young? So I can view the Google Doc. Everything on the NGPF website is housed in Google, so you'll want a Google account of your own, and then you can print this off for students, or you can file and make a copy of it to customize it for your own use in your classroom. Most often, I print these out and put them on paper for students to analyze, but honestly, I've used the data crunches in a bunch of different ways, which is why I'm creating this video, maybe to give you some different ideas on how to use them. So the data crunch, all of them, will start with some sort of chart or graph for students to analyze. And in this one, they're looking at the benefit of compounding, the benefit of starting as young as you can to invest, and how that just compounds and builds wealth over time. And then every single data crunch will have five different questions requiring students to then analyze that information. And as you see underneath all of them, they have a depth of knowledge level. So they'll all start with like a lower depth of knowledge one and then they'll work their way up to a higher depth of knowledge making them you know think a little deeper about the information that's being presented and then another thing if you're new to the NGPF curriculum is that on any of their assignments in the footer it'll always tell you when that document or activity has last been updated just because they're always I mean NGPF is awesome in the fact that their curriculum is very current so they're always updating and enhancing the materials so you can always see when the last update is in the footer. So how do I use these in my classroom? I try and tie in data crunches because I think it's important for students to see actual you know, information, realistic statistics, realistic graphs and information throughout various different units. So some ways that I've used this is most often, like I said, I print these. Sometimes I use, um, I use Google Classroom in my classroom and I do have access to Chromebooks on a daily basis. So sometimes I'll put this on Google Classroom for students to finish. Um, sometimes I'll print them off and I'll pair them up. And as just kind of like a quick start to the hour, in groups, they'll analyze the graph and then answer the questions. And it always kind of ties into the unit that we're talking about. So then we can go over some of these as a class, or like I said, they can do it in small groups. Um, another thing that I do in my classroom is when students come into my class, I always have something on the board for them either to do or to read or to check out. Um, NGPF offers questions of the day, so I'll use those sometimes. Um, you can find those on the website. Sometimes I'll just snip like this little graph, like the actual graph, and I'll put it on my smart board as they come in, and then I'll just like create the dialogue and the verbal discussion of some of these questions that are there. Um, sometimes I'll snip this and put it on like my smart board when they're walking in and then I'll create like a Google form or I'll put this assignment on Google Classroom for them to do as just kind of a starter to the hour. Um, the other thing I like data crunches for is for when I'm out, like when I have a substitute. Sometimes I'll pull a couple different data crunches and they're just really, they're really easy um, assignments for you to prep and have for students to complete when you're out because really there's not much that you need to preface or to say to get them going. It's really just graph analysis or data analysis. So these data crunches are great for, for uh, sub work or when you're gonna be out of the classroom. I think they're awesome too. Um, I can also tell you that on the NGPF website, um, if you go to their units page here um, and look at 
the the materials that they have for every single unit. That's most often how I find what I want in the NGPF curriculum. And again, if I go to investing, because that's the unit that I'm in, um, I have the semester course outline in lessons. I have the full course lessons. And then you notice they have like a la carte options on the right hand side, activities, projects, case studies. And you can also find the data crunches there. So I can see them here along with everything else. So I will tell you that the data crunches usually don't take very much time. So um, with these, sometimes they'll finish in like only 10 or 15 minutes, um, depending on how detailed the particular graph that is that they are analyzing. So they're pretty quick. So again, sometimes, like I said, I'll leave them for sub work. I'll leave them a couple of them to analyze. But I think they're great quick activities to bring actual data into the classroom for every unit that you're talking about.